Good evening. Welcome to Options Center. It is Monday, 7 18 22. Welcome, everybody. What a heck of a day trading today. We caught the reversal right at the top there. That is not very typical uh, when you nail it like that. So um, I'm proud of it, but it's not uh, something that um, <laughs> it happens all the time. So uh, if you're new here, go down to that bottom right hand corner, hit that Options Center logo, and subscribe. What we're going to do here is we're going to go on ES. On multiple time frames that's the s p futures and we're going to go from the monthly down to the 65 minute chart to see if we can find that information that tells us where the market is going all right so on the monthly briefly we hit a top we are now um trending to the downside the 8 ema is our trend indicator that says which way the market is heading um we are below the 20 day um 20 month moving average and we're looking towards that 50 month so that's kind of our near-term target um on the monthly and if we go down to the weekly change the frame on the weekly time frame breaking down we have a low a higher uh, excuse me a low a lower high lower low lower high lower low and right now we're pushing off of that weekly 8 ema it's telling us we're trending down we got rejected there yeah that's a uh, doji candle uh the week's not over this could repair itself but at this point the the bears are in charge we put up this uh, resistance line here um last week or the week before i don't remember but uh we rejected off of it right with the eight ema on the weekly now this is just a consolidation zone you guys are we going to break up above this if we do it's going to be a sharp move up or are we going to continue to the downside uh we we have to presume that we're going to continue to the downside with this type of price action but I'll, I'll give you the caveat and what tells us whether or not we're going to head to the upside there if you look at that weekly time frame we're headed down in the macd still haven't crossed over we're still bearish we're well into bearish territory now with the rsi we came right onto that downtrend line there and we are rejecting off of it that's a tell tell sign now we do have a little bit of divergence which created a uh, a move to the upside but uh i suspect that we'll have a little bit more because we we barely even touched that 30 area when we could go much lower than that on the weekly as well so um bears our control okay let's go to the daily daily time frame trend is our friend now what we see on the daily is that we had this uh, resistance area and also the supply zone. We've had this on for weeks now and uh, we keep rejecting off of it, breaking down, breaking down the moving averages. You see the eight EMA that's a trending, it's trending sideways. It's not a trend, it's moving sideways. Uh, we came right back down to it, tried to get above, didn't even touch the 50 day simple moving average we just broke down from there um what this is telling me is, is this is a range play you know you break upper end of the range lower end of the range upper in lower upper and one of these times it's just going to continue to the downside or move itself to the upside now you see that uh, 20 day moving average and the 8 ema trying to hold this position right where we are that's kind of a uh, kind of an area that we're we're gonna look at um i do think we might pop a little bit lower if we're gonna go higher it's gonna be from uh from probably this midpoint somewhere around the 3800 area would be my guess okay so we did um on the macd we started to create a higher low on here we didn't make a higher high yet so the trend is still down and you see we kind of got above this uh this downtrend line that doesn't you know that's not saying too much it still could break down lower um but just know that we haven't made a higher high yet or higher, excuse me higher high yet uh on the rsi same thing we're kind of getting we're getting real tight in this area you see these uh um these dash lines are triangulating we're going right in between the ranges are moving smaller and smaller well we're going to break above 
or below one of these times here. So you got to be prepared for anything at this point. But the Bears definitely have the advantage. Okay, and until we get above this uh, this 38, um, let's call it uh, 3900 area, we have to stay above it. We have to have a candle, a daily candle that stays above it before we can actually get um, aggressively bullish uh, until the next uh, support or uh, once support, now resistance. All right, now on the 65 minute chart, we'll move there, see if we can learn just a little bit more in the very near term. And we're not going to go through the Elliott Wave, but if you are a patron, um, we will post the Elliott Wave if you're interested. The first tier, all the tiers get it, but the first tier uh, is only $5 to get there. So you see, we had this downtrend line from uh, way back in June here. We did reject right off of that and started to move to the downside. Now, um, in Elliott Wave terms, I'm not going to say this, but we had, we had a uh, higher low here. At this point, we can't, it's not confirmed until you get a higher high. Uh, but if this is a move from up, down to higher low, and we start continuing to upside, what we'll be looking for is this move here. We had a nice sharp move. Is that a impulsive move? I believe so. And we uh, move back probably to about the 3800 area. If that holds, then you can see the bulls take over from there it's really a tell point uh this a um area right here that we have to hold uh, bulls and bears are gonna fight uh you get underneath this 3800 area we start getting lower here you can you can get real aggressive because i i don't think that's gonna hold what we're gonna see here is um just an an, an a b c pattern for a uh much larger correction and this is going to be an impulsive five-way move up. If that is the case, I'm still playing the downside. We got rejected off of here. Um, what we're kind of looking at is a uh, multi-month uh, bear setup uh, where we're just getting lower highs, lower highs, lower high there. So if we continue to the downside, this thing is going to start to accelerate um, much quicker and uh we're gonna we're gonna see much lower prices okay it, you do see that we're creating a wedge if we start breaking this wedge then you know that um the scenario where we correct to the upside has begun so those are the two options there up or down it's typically the situation but just know that we are in a consolidation we've moved sideways since um since the end of june my gosh that's just that's such a that's that's so tough you know when you're you're used to just going down for a long way and up for a long way and then you put us in a range that's a that's a tough way to play but it's a range play we played the puts here and we started to get aggressive when the trend line um broke there so all right that's what we got here again if you want to see that Elliott wave go to the patreon page for options tender if if you are new don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification we're going to try to do these updates whenever we can just to keep you um you know in the right trend in the right side of the chart okay so thanks for joining us here at options center have a wonderful day we'll see you tomorrow